Okay. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. For most of you watching this video the first time, it's going to be a good morning. I'm Tamba Lamin and I'm from Lamtech Consulting Enterprises. I'm going to walk you through the getting started video for the uh, data jam that we are having today. Today is uh, December 27th and we're going to continue tomorrow the 28th. So this first video in a series of videos that you will be watching is uh, the introduction what you will need to do to get started so let's follow this closely i have some important instructions that you will need to get started working on the platform this is our agenda for the day and when we get to tomorrow you will see another agenda so first item is introduction that's going to start around 9 to 10 registration, I mean, and then we're going to have the introduction and getting started and then a break, a facilitated training session, a launch, a hands-on exercise, a break, and then another hands-on exercise. So this video is going to cover the registration process of uh, the workshop this morning. Now, for the registration process, we have to do a couple of things uh, in that registration. One of those things we have to do is we have to submit our volunteer application on the platform. We have to log into our schools.edu.sl email and we have to create an account on electiondata.io. We have to also create an account on GitHub. We have to create an account on Drupal.org. We have to create a Skype account if we don't have one. Create a Pantheon account and create an Acquia dot com account i will explain why you have to create all of these accounts as part of the setup process uh, this next uh, slide is basically walking you through everything that you need to do all the activities so first we want to log into schools.edu.email and uh, to log in here you should have received an email already with the instructions if you do receive that email just click on the link and you'll be able to start the process if not you go to gmail.com and then you'll do that so let me do that live so you can see that so i have received my email already to do this and since i have already received my email to do this uh, in that email, this is the instructions that you will receive that an account has been created for you here, right? So to access that account, I will click this to access that account. And right away, I will see this screen and then I will click accept. And here I will have to create a new password. So I'm going to create a new password for my new account. And then I'll click create and I have successfully created my account. Now I can say continue to my account and now I continue to my account. This is my account. So from here, I am actually logged in as several different accounts, but this is the account that I'm, I need, the demo that volunteer. So I'll click on that account and I am in my account. I can click here and click on Gmail. and i can then see my gmail so this is my gmail i'm now in gmail and all i can see is a very basic uh, two emails that uh, google have sent me so the account that you are using the schools.edu account is a custom uh, google email account that we provide to all students who don't have access to edu emails the reason you want to have this account is if you want to subscribe to some service online that require you to have a .edu email address, you can use this email address. If you want to subscribe, for example, to IEEE, the uh, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, to become a member, it costs a lot of money. But if you are a student, student membership costs less. And how do they know you are a student? When you use an EDU account. So it's good to have an EDU account. The other reason why we recommend in everyone to have this account, especially student, is that at some point we are going to lock down the platform. The only people we are going to allow to be able to register themselves on the platform will be people who have .sl email addresses. Email addresses that end with the domain .sl. And this email address will fall under that bracket as one of those emails emails that have a dot sl so this first step is done now i'll go to the next step the next step from the activity says uh, create an account on 
electiondata.io. So to do this, I will click on this link or I will just copy this link right here. And I will open my browser here and I will open this in incognito mode. That's a private window. And from this incognito mode, I will then have this form where I can then create my account. So to do this, I'm going to use my same email address. I'm going to say demo volunteer at schools.edu.sl and I'm going to use my email say demo dot volunteer one because I already have one like that and I'm going to call this demo and I'm going to call this volunteer one and I'm assuming I'm in Freetown so I'm going to choose Freetown here and then I'm going to click create and my account has been created. I see, thank you for applying for an account. Your account is currently pending approval by the site administrator. In the meantime, a welcome message has been sent. So when you create an account, we have to see that account in the backend and then approve it. So an email has been sent to me already. So if I come back to my email and I check, I'm hoping to see an email coming in. So let me check on the spam. Yes, it's on the spam. And uh, I'm going to mark this as not spam. So next time it doesn't come on the spam. And if I click here, you can see my email is right here. So my account has been created. So now I'm going to log into another screen and then approve that account. So that I can show you the entire process. So now I'm going to approve that account in another screen, which you will not be seeing. I'm going to make that active and uh, that. So that account is now active. And since the account is active, if you check your mailbox now, in a few minutes, another email is going to show up telling you that your account is now active. OK, so we're going to we're not going to wait for that. We're going to move to the next step, but an email will come very soon saying that account is now active. So I'll move to the next step. The next step is submit a volunteer application. We are hoping that to submit the volunteer application, you should have logged in already. But let's say, for example, your email took a long time to come to tell you that you already have an account. You can uh, trick the system in a way to do that. So it shows here that I'm already logged in. Uh, I don't want that. So I want to go back into incognito mode. So what I can do, I'm going to go back in incognito mode and I'm going to open this. And now I'm not logged in. So I want to make sure I'm logged in before I submit this. So this can be associated to my account. So I will put here user and I will put here just user like that to log in. And I will say reset my password. I'm going to assume I've forgotten my password. And I'm going to put demo.volunteer1. That was my username. And I click submit. And I should receive an email again with the instructions. So let me check and make sure I receive either the email with the instructions or the email that my account is active. It doesn't look like, okay, both of them have been received. Actually, they are, they are still marked as spam. So let me say not spam and not spam. So let's say this was my first email that I received saying my account has been activated. So now I can click to activate it. So I'm going to right click here and copy that. And then I'm going to open that in incognito mode. I'm going to just click and click here and this should log me in automatically. Now I'm logged in and I'll click on login here. And now that I'm logged in, I can then create my own personal password. This is now my password and I will be able to log in the next time. So now that I'm here, 
I can then make an attempt now to submit my application and my volunteer application will be associated with my account. So the step for a volunteer application is you have to click on this link. As you can see, this is volunteer-application. You can copy this link and follow it to see the volunteer application form. This is it right here. Or you can go to get involved and then click start volunteer application. Either way, it's the same form. Once you are here, the first question is, what do you want to work on? You can work on several different things, say election result data, candidate profile data. These are all the different data types we have. It doesn't really matter which one you choose here. At the end of the day, you can work on any one you want. But it's good to choose one that you'll be interested in the most. So I'm going to be interested in election results. So I'm going to choose that and then select the district you want to claim. We are going to need some volunteers who are going to be district coordinators for each one of these data types. For that reason, we want you to select a district. So I'm going to select Western Area Urban. My occupation, I'm going to assume I'm a student. I will put here student and my surname will be in this case, uh, volunteer. And my middle name, I don't really have a middle name. So I'll leave that blank. And then my first name, I'm going to put demo. That's a demo. And as you can see, it has already captured my email address that I'm logged in with. And then my phone number, I'm going to put some phone number here, which is a real phone number, 789098. And if I have multiple phone numbers, I can put each one of them, 78. Uh, that doesn't look right and let me just put that again okay and then i can put multiple phone numbers if i have multiple like uh seven seven eight that eight that that and then next preferred method to contact you what is the preferred method to contact you whatsapp or sms or facebook messenger or phone call or email i'll choose whatsapp as my preferred method preferred day or time when is the best time to contact you for example if we need to set up a meeting and we want you to attend this meeting online or in person what time is the best you can select one i prefer saturday after 7 p.m gmt and a brief uh, profile this is where you should write something about yourself and whatever information you write here is going to be displayed under this volunteers page right here so on this volunteers page we are going to have a list of all the volunteers that are working on the project your picture is going to be there on your in your name and with your picture and name if i click on your name i will get to your profile and your profile will have that description if they actually have a description so whatever you type in here is what we will put over there and the message here if you have any message for me so here i'm going to say uh, no details yet for now and then message here i will just say thank you and i will like to have a dot edu dot sl email please and then i click send and that will be it my volunteer application have been submitted you can see thank you for contacting us your message has been sent one of our volunteers will blah blah and once that is submitted you will get routed right away to this get involved page and this get involved page will have some instructions on some of the other things that you can do another place you can go right away from here is you can go under this get involved and then click volunteer documentation and this video that i just i'm creating right now and other videos that i've created will be listed here and you can take them up and go over them so now let's go to the next step github i want to create a github account and why should you create a github account github is a platform that is used to manage source code and it's one of the most popular open source platforms to do this you want to create a github account so that you will have access to the source code of the platform so to create that account it's simple use an email i'm going to use my same demo dot dot uh, volunteer at schools dot edu dot sl here and it doesn't like that as a username so i'm gonna 
okay so this doesn't like that as a username i'm gonna do uh, i'm just gonna do this i'm gonna do sl open ep and remove this it doesn't like that as a username and then i can then put here demo dot volunteer at schools.edu.sl and then i'm gonna put a password here that's my password and then create i've now created my account it's asking me if i want a personal one yes i'm gonna choose free public personal one and then i'm gonna click continue and what do i want to be doing i'm gonna say school project and research for now and i'm gonna say somewhat experience totally new to programming um, if you are new and then i can say i'm a student or i'm a professional and what are you interested in for now i'll leave all of this or you can say php since this platform is focused on php i can say php and then click submit and once i've submitted now i have created an account you can see my account is right here say your profile and i can see my profile right here With github once you create an account one of the first things you want to do is add your bio you can add some information your display name here could be demo volunteer and then do you want your email to be public or not and you can put any information here you want it's okay if you want to you can put the name of your company here in my case i'm going to put Lamtech as the name of my company my location i'm going to put freetown as my location my url i'm going to put this as my the Lamtech website as my url and then i'm going to update my profile right now i can check my email to see if that email has been sent to me from github so that i can verify my account and uh, spam okay now let's see did we receive any email from github no i don't see any email from github yet so we want to verify our account it's saying that we need to verify so i can go on that email here and say there okay i missed the email this is not good so i need to put this right otherwise i will not receive the email and i'm gonna add this and now okay resend and i'm going to go back and check to see if github has sent me that email and check on the spam always check on the spam and if i look here uh no that's not from github okay replacement that's not from github and check again that's not okay so i'll come back to that but in the meantime i have created my github account already I can wait when that email comes I can I can submit and now I can search here for repositories our repository is right here so you can search by name for example it's called elections SL so if you search like that you would probably not see it it's not here uh, it's not this one so I will give you the URL for that now let's go back to the powerpoint the next thing we want to do we want to create a drupal.org account and let me go through that process and why do we want to create a drupal.org account the platform is based on an open source web content management system called drupal drupal is one of the most popular web content management systems in the world today it is second to wordpress as the most popular web content management system used to create public facing websites that we use every day on the internet examples of websites that use drupal is like the white house and about 40 percent of u.s federal websites use drupal Jala University, we use Drupal to develop your, their website. And there are a couple of government websites, even in Sierra Leone, and high profile, high tech companies using Drupal. And you will learn more about that. When you create an account on Drupal.org, the benefit of that is you'll be able to learn more about the product itself and you will become part of a community. You'll be able to submit bug reports if you see a bug, and you'll be able to connect with other people. But most important of all, if you want to continue in this field 
in the field of the internet or programming or web content management systems, from the date that you create this account, your experience with Drupal will start from that day. Most of the employers that will want someone that knows Drupal will usually ask you if you have a Drupal account. And if you do have one, they will ask you to send them a link. When they go to that your Drupal account, they will see how long you've had the Drupal account. And the time, if you tell them you have five years experience working with Drupal, but your Drupal account have been created two years ago, they probably wouldn't believe you. But if you tell them you have five years experience and when they check your Drupal account, they can see that you've been a member on Drupal.org for five years, they've just confirmed that yes, truly you have five years experience so it's very important to create this account so i'm going to create this account i'm going to say demo dot volunteer and i'm going to put that like this sl open that and then i'm going to put my email schools.edu.sl and i'm going to repeat my email here and then put my password and put my password and then here i'm going to read that and then i'm going to say i'm human and then submit and once i submit this an account will be created for me an email will be sent to me again to activate this account so now i've created this i can call this a demo volunteer and my country i can put sierra leone make sure you put sierra leone and then mail and your organization you can put the name of your organization here i'm going to put lamb tech consulting and my job title here i'm just going to say developer and then my time zone i can choose my time zone to make sure this is correct africa freetown and then you can choose here to get newsletter information drupal organizes conferences every year so you can get information about all that so i've just created my account here and my profile and now this is going to start counting for me so you can see history on drupal.org for 51 seconds so from now on it's going to start counting and it's just going to continue counting for me so as i continue working on this product and getting experience in this product i can use this figure right here to say i have x number of experience on that product now let's go to the next step uh, i require you to create a skype account if you don't have one because we are going to be using skype most of the time to communicate so create a skype account if you don't have one now pantheon and aquia i require you also to create an account here these are two cloud platforms that can allow you to create a drupal website online free of charge and then practice how to use drupal so you don't need to have a server your computer don't have to have a server these guys will provide you with a free cloud server that you can use to install drupal and to play with it so to do that i'm going to create an account here again that at schools dot edu dot sl and then i'm going to create my password and then i'm going to put here demo volunteer like that and then create and now my account has been created I'm, it's asking me to start a project i'm going to say okay i want to start a new project right away and from here i'm going to say i'm going to create uh, a new demo project this is basically going to create a clean drupal site for me it will be hosted in the cloud and i can play with it and test it and do whatever else i want to do and use it basically to learn what type of site on aqua on pantheon you can only create two type of site a group three types a drupal 7 website a drupal 8 website or a wordpress website i want to create drupal 8 so i'm going to click deploy because our platform is based on drupal 8 now it's deploying my Drupal 8 site and once it finished deploying I can walk through the installation process and this way I actually have a development server online and I can use this development server to play. The code that I'm going to make available to you via GitHub, that's the code for this platform, you'll be able to take that code, bring it into Pantheon and test it and work with it and play with it if you are interested in programming. 
So while that is creating, I'm going to open my PowerPoint and I'm going to go next to uh, Acquia. Acquia is a competitor to Pantheon. They do similar things. The major difference is Acquia doesn't do WordPress. Acquia only does Drupal, whereas Pantheon will do both WordPress and Drupal. So for Acquia, if you go to this link again, you'll be able to then fill out this form. This person you see on the picture here is called Dries. And he is the CTO of the company Acquia. Acquia is a, one of the biggest Drupal companies, and he is also the founder of the Drupal project. So here I will just create my account demo, and then I will do volunteer, and then I will do again demo dot volunteer at schools dot edu dot sl, and then I create that. And then my phone number here, I'm going to put some phone number, say uh, plus 232766175 that. And my job function, I'm going to say I am a web developer. Industry, I'm going to say I am in uh, high tech. And my organization, I'm going to put here that like that and then my country i'm going to put sierra leone as my country and i'm going to select this option right here and it's asking me to do some verification now uh, select taxis this is a taxi 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 and then verify now it has verified that i'm human and then i can click sign up And my sign up is complete. I have now access to Acquia. And now that I have access to Acquia, I can also create an account, a, a website here. So easily I can click this add an application. And I, I want a free application. And I'm going to call it SLOEP demo. And I want it to be on Drupal 8. And I can accept this and then click add. And this environment is going to be set up for me so that i can mess around with drupal and let's see pantheon is complete so if i click visit here it takes me now to my dashboard and from here i can then say install drupal and continue the installation process right here this is going to continue so that's all you have to do for getting started once you have all of these accounts created and you are able to successfully log in you are able to successfully log into the platform like this and have access. It means you are ready and good to go to start the training process. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.